Hey everyone, it's James from Fun Foods, and today we're on this live stream and we're going to be making twice baked potatoes. And I got this recipe from Joshua, Joshua Tube Gaming. He sent it to me, so thank you so much for that. I really appreciate that. I love it when you guys send me recipes, it's awesome. It makes it easy for me to decide on what to make. And since we're doing this in a live stream, we're going to get right into it because it does take a little bit of time and time is the enemy of live streams. So we're gonna get into this right away. Thanks for joining guys, I really appreciate that. And uh, let me just angle the camera down so you can see what I'm doing. Um, just right away here, let's get that down. So right here, I've already cleaned off two potatoes. These are just red potatoes. And what I've done was I put oil in there. I'm gonna do a little bit more oil as well. And these are just the whole potatoes, just move them around. You can put some salt and pepper in there, season them. Um, and that's pretty much it for to start with. Now, I've already preheated my oven to 425 degrees. Actually, it's almost there. Um, but I also have a baking sheet. I'm gonna put these two on the baking sheet, just separate them. And we're gonna take this and we're gonna bake these for 25 minutes, just as they are. Now, as soon as my oven gets up to temperature, we'll do that. In the meantime, I will talk. <laughs> so let me read the comments and catch up here. Um, let's see. Love you, Fun Foods. Thank you, Nicholas. I appreciate that. I, I should make Reese's Cinnamon Bun with peanut butter icing. That sounds amazing. I love the way he made Mountain Dew food. Oh, I appreciate that. I like coming up with different Mountain Dew recipes. It's pretty fun. Hi, Tech Gadgets. Hi, uh, Quizal. Um, you just got a notification. Cool. This is your first live here. Awesome. Well, thank you for coming on. I appreciate that. Hannah, hi. How are you? Uh, Bacon Cat. Hi, you're here. I remember you from last time. Uh, yes, Tech Gadgets. I remember you as well. This is your first live here, and I'm really happy about it. I'm happy you're here as well. So thank you, all of you who are coming on right now. And uh, give it a few more minutes for some people to come on. But pretty much we're just waiting for our oven to get up to temperature. In fact, I'm going to put them in because it's really close to temperature. And they need to actually bake for 25 minutes. Now, when that's doing that, I'm going to prepare everything else. Um, it calls for Fontina cheese. And it comes in a block, but we're going to shred it up. And we can do that while we wait. Let's see. So I'll open this up. How's everyone doing tonight on this Tuesday? Um, let's see. I love your slushies. Oh, yeah. Um, which one's the Kool-Aid slushies or Mountain Dew slushie? They're both similar. Joshua Tube Gaming. There you go. Uh, this is Joshua Tube Gaming recipe, and he sent it to me. So thank you so much. Go check him out. He's in the chat right there. Um, I never know how to... How do I highlight someone? Do I just do like this? Maybe I'll, yeah, if I do that, that should highlight them, I guess. I don't know. I never know how to, how to work these things. Hopefully that highlights them. Hmm. <laughs> I have no clue. Maybe if I do this, I don't know. Um, no, I don't know. I was hoping to try to highlight your channel there, Joshua, but um, it's the best I could do. <laughs> I don't know how to highlight stuff and do all that fun stuff. Life with Louie. Hi, Fun Foods. I love your videos. Please, can I have a shout out? Well, Life with Louie. You got a shout out. There you go. Thank you for liking my stuff. Crumble some bacon at the end. Oh, yes, of course. I got some bacon already made. Here. You know I had to have the bacon, right? So there's four extra crispy pieces of bacon, which we will definitely crumble up at the end. Of course, <laughs> you know that. So that's there. Um, uh, yummy to eat, yes. Hi, Atharva. Hi, how are you? 
Um, let's see. Please, can I have a shout out, James? Life with Louie. You have your shout out. Here you go. <laughs> hey, Fun Foods, I love your channel. Can you please get a shout out? I love you, man. Your Mountain Dew recipes. Yes. So Miami Hysterica, Hysterical. Is that what that is? But that's uh, cool. Go There you go. There's your shout out. Uh, hi, Nicholas. Hi, Dave. Hi, Mega Man. I have a bad storm coming. Oh, no. Well, stay safe. Um, that's the important thing. Life of Louis says, I love bacon. I do, too. You have lots of fans in Algeria. Oh, well, that's good to know. Uh, I'm guessing that's where you're from, Algeria. That's awesome. I, I want to travel the world, so Algeria will definitely be a place I'd like to go. I'm just looking at my oven right now because it looks... I heard some sounds coming from it. I think it's just the potatoes cooking. Yep. Yep, they're cooking. Uh, let's see. Uh, Tech Gadget says, Will I make a recipe of Mountain Dew Baja Blast? Uh, that my favorite flavor, Mountain Dew. Oh, yeah. Definitely, I will be making one with Baja Blast. In fact, how's that for you? <laughs> See, I'm prepared. So yeah, I am prepared for the Baja Blast. And um, yeah, there will be a recipe coming up. Can't tell you when. All hail crispy bacon. Yes, yummy here. Yes. Uh, Byron, how are you doing, buddy? I'm doing fine. If you could eat one food for the rest of your life, what would it be and why? Probably bacon. <laughs> like, if that's the only food I can have, I don't know. Uh, if not, just like cheeseburgers. <laughs> OMG, thanks for the shout out. Uh, can you do a Mountain Dew pizza? That's a good suggestion. Uh, a couple people have suggested something like that, so that's good. I love everyone's compliments. I do too. <laughs> uh, bacon, yes. <laughs> Oh my gosh, you have it. Yes, I do. See, I came prepared. James, the cooking grind doesn't stop. It doesn't. It, it certainly does not. So what do you say we prepare our cheese while we wait? Because we got about 20 more minutes left of the first bake. Um, let me angle this down. And uh, I'm just going to open this up if I can. Um, yeah, there we go. So I get this open. Yeah, I had to run to the store. I had everything, and then I forgot the sour cream, and I was like, oh, no, I've got to run to the store. <laughs> so what I'm going to do is just um, use a cheese grinder, grater, whatever you want to call it. We're going to grate some cheese. Get it all prepared. Nothing like some fresh grated cheese. Yep. So, we don't have to do a whole lot of this, but I like cheese, so why not? And we'll just, that should be good. Yep. I just said. Yep, can't go wrong cheese. Angle that back up. <laughs> so let's see, to get back to the comments here. Uh, they should make smoke alarms that don't shut off. Uh, yell, just cooking. That would actually be smart because how many times people actually like remove their smoke alarm battery because it goes off when they're cooking and they forget to put it back in and then sadly something happens and their house burns down and they're not notified. So uh, yeah, that would probably be a smart thing. <laughs> Cook Coke pizza. Oh, that'd be interesting. Mountain Dew cake. Mm. I've made a, well, I made a Mountain Dew bottle cake that looks like Code Red, the Code Red one. Your diet is bacon 24-7, 365. Yeah, I pretty much have bacon in a lot of stuff I have. Bacon, bacon, that's what Dave says. I'll hook you up with the secret ingredients to movie theater popcorn. Awesome. Uh, Mountain Dew cookie cake. Ooh, I haven't thought about cookie cake yet. That's interesting. 
And will you make Reese's Peanut Butter Cheesecake? I have, actually. I've already made a Reese's Peanut Butter Cheesecake. Uh, when you get off this live stream, just check in my channel. If you go in my channel, in the search bar in my channel, and just search Reese's, you'll see all the things Reese's I made. I actually have a playlist of different Reese's stuff. So if you just search the Reese's playlist, and you'll see all the Reese's stuff I made, and the Reese's Peanut Butter uh, Cheesecake is in there. Uh, Coke cake, you, yep, you said that. Uh, if you were only in one pence, I guess, place for the rest of your life, where would it be? One place? Mm. I would have to go somewhere warm, like nice climate, like either Florida, California, Hawaii, somewhere like that. Probably Hawaii, even though I've never been. So, uh, What's the highest donation you have gotten? I don't know. Like um, what you're saying, like on the live streams? I think five dollars or so something like that that's pretty impressive because i never really do it for the money but it's always fun to see that stuff happen uh would you try mountain dew chocolate with bacon crumbles in it chocolate and bacon is always good <laughs> uh are you biased towards mountain dew uh no um not really i uh, you know mountain dew is a fun ingredient to work with uh you can do so many different recipes with it and so many people love seeing the different stuff you can create with Mountain Dew, and I enjoy trying it. <laughs> How is my day? My day was pretty good. Um, been busy, as always. <laughs> so just trying to prepare for this live stream. And right now I'm just baking a couple potatoes right now. And then when they come out, we'll do the next part. That's the only bad thing about live streams, uh, baking stuff that takes a while. Um, it's not a lot of action on my part right here. So try to fill the time with whatever I can. Guess I'll put some potatoes out of the way. Oh, I know what we can do. So while we're waiting on that, what do you say we try out? They have or new Oreo cookies. And these are cherry cola Oreo cookies. And um, we can try some of these out in a little bit. And uh, we can do that to kill the time, right? While we're waiting for the stuff to bake. Can't go wrong with that. So uh, let's see, let me get back to the comments here. Do you enjoy Cabanera or Alfredo pasta? I like Alfredo pasta better. Why no Sprite, Coke, Pepsi, or Sierra Mist? Uh, the reason why is a lot of people like Mountain Dew. Uh, not as many people like Sprite or you know Pepsi. It's, it's They like it, it's just not as... Um, it's not as catchy. Like, uh, when you, you say Mountain Dew, people are always shocked by the things I can come up with Mountain Dew. I can make a lot of the same stuff with Sprite or Sierra Mist or Coke or Pepsi. But Mountain Dew kind of has that buzz around it. Like, people really, you know that person that just loves their Mountain Dew. So when I make a recipe like that, people like to share it with that person. Uh, they just see it and they're like, yeah, let's share this. <laughs> Mountain Dew Jelly Cake. See, that's a good one, Nicholas. You remember me, yesterday was my birthday. Oh, yesterday was your birthday, Gaming Patrol. Well, happy belated birthday. Um, I hope you had a great day yesterday. Some, hopefully someone made you a cool cake. That would be cool. Um, I've had cinnamon bun flavored Oreos. Mm, now see, that's good. Cinnamon bun flavored Oreos. Awesome. Hello, Gaming Patrol. So what do you say we try out these Oreos? These are Cherry Cola Oreos, and they're new, and I'm gonna give them a shot and see how they taste. I like Cherry Coke, um, so I'm guessing they taste a little bit like Cherry Coke. I don't know, we'll see. This is what they look like in the package. Here's my unboxing. <laughs> I know everyone loves seeing stuff unboxed, and I know, so, Let's open one up one at a time here, and we'll uh, we'll do the whole like beauty vlogger type thing. We'll screw it off, and oh, nothing's in it. But voila! So this is what the inside looks like. It has the white and the red, and I'm guessing that will be the cherry color or the cherry flavor, and the white would be I guess the soda flavor. I don't know. We'll see. <laughs> um, let's see, get back to the comments real quick. 
Hello, uh, Mountain Dew 7-Eleven Slurpee. I have made a Mountain Dew slushy, which is really close. I have $5. Cool. <laughs> uh, Self-dispensing Mountain Dew machine, please. <laughs> yeah, that would be cool. What if you make a cheddar cheddar, cheese cheddar, melt it on top of baked potato? Mm. See, that's good. James, I have a good joke if you're interested. Go for it, Josh. Or Joshua. Do you, you like to call Josh or Joshua? I don't know. But what do you say? We're going to try this real quick. Um, should I eat the frosting first or eat the whole thing first? Which way should I do it? Let me know in the comments right now. Lick the frosting off and try that. Or should I just put it back together and eat the whole thing? Need your suggestion. Actually, I'm going to get a drink while I'm waiting for your response. And... Let me get a drink. So, Diet Coke, not a sponsor. <laughs> so. Gaming Patrol, what up? I like this channel. Uh, so, great. I recommend it. Awesome. Uh, so, Mega Man says, lick the frosting. Gaming's frosting. Uh, do a Mountain Dew Oreo. Yeah, that'd be cool. Uh, Red Run, Red Lobster, Olive Garden, Longhorn Steakhouse, uh, decide what to eat. Who the most? Seafood pasta. See, I I rarely eat seafood, so I would always choose Red Lobster in that choice just because I don't eat it that often and I like it. Uh, I do like Golden Oreo frosting. For, oh, yeah. Uh, frosting first. Yeah, everyone's saying frosting first, so I have to do, have to do frosting first. Then we'll get into it. Now... Should I just, let's, here, let's get into this and we'll try this. This is the cherry cola flavored Oreo cookie. And we'll lick the frosting off first. It has a weird taste now. I don't know if that's just the red. Let's try just the white part. Hmm. I think it both is the same flavor. They just colored one red and one. It's very gritty. Almost tastes like Pop Rocks. They, I think they put Pop Rock. They did. Hmm. Maybe if I read the package. They put Pop Rocks in there. See what it says? Popping candy. So they have Pop Rocks in this thing, I guess to symbolize the soda. That's pretty interesting. I wasn't expecting that. <laughs> very, very interesting. Mm. A potato Oreo. <laughs> that would be interesting. Mm. Mountain Dew butter. <laughs> Galaxy mirror cake. Nice. The whole thing. Well, I'm going to eat one the whole thing now. Let's see if it tastes any different. So I'm eating dessert before I eat my actual um, dinner. <laughs> so here we go. We're going to bite into the whole Oreo. And again, these are cherry cola Oreos. Hmm. Yeah. I still can't get over the Pop Rocks in there. It's just, it's interesting. I wasn't expecting it. Hmm. Hmm. I know Oreos have nothing to do with potatoes that we're making. So if you came on late, we've already started making our twice-baked potatoes. We're baking them the first time right now. We have about eight more minutes left on the timer. I'm just going to glance down in there, look in the oven. <laughs> um... So Dylan says, this is my favorite cha channel. Thank you so much, Dylan. I appreciate that. You're awesome. Mix up my name. I don't care, <laughs> to be honest. Why is tanning not an Olympic sport? <laughs> mm. Pop Rocks and Pepsi? Yeah. I've done that too way back in the day. Mm. Oreo but made with own ingredients. 
show us uh, you drinking a two liter Mountain Dew without taking a breath. <laughs> I have a two liter Mountain Dew too. That's the funny thing. Nice coat. Where'd you get it? There's actually a chef like store online. It's actually, and that's where I bought it so I can personalize it. I actually have to get my logo on here, but it's rather expensive to have them make the logo. So I just have them put my name on it. Let's see, something you did a long time ago, deep fried butter and something you do all the time, Mountain Dew flavor. So uh, combine, so Josh says combine both the deep fried butter and the Mountain Dew flavored. Mm. Oh, Tammy from Yo-Yo Max, hi. Wish you had a great variety of Oreos here. Oh yeah, because Tammy's in Canada and uh, most countries besides America don't have a lot of variety of Oreos. I know the first time I went to England, I brought like 10 different packages of Oreos so my friends can try the different flavors we had. And it was pretty fun. And actually there's a video on my channel about that. We, and that was like from three years ago or four years ago. And um, it was really fun. <laughs> so yeah, Tammy says she has like three or four kinds. I know most places have the regular, the double stuffed. Um, and then sometimes they'll have like mint or something like that. But we come here, they come out, they have a whole aisle just full of Oreo cookies. And it's insane. If you go to like Walmart and it's just nothing but Oreo cookies in the one side of the aisle. And it's just a bunch of different flavors. And every summer they come out with all different weird flavors and they just test them out. So I just grabbed this one, little cherry cola one. And I said, I'll try this. Uh, would you buy them again? That's the question. The or no, I probably wouldn't buy them again, but I just bought them to try them out. What's uh, pop Exy candy. Oh, the, the pop rock candy. It's like little tiny hard candy that just pops in your mouth. It's almost like rice Krispies cereal in a way, but it pops. It's hard to explain. <laughs> uh, Mountain Dew chocolate. That's cool. Deep fried butter, Mountain Dew, Mountain Dew, Mountain Dew deep fried butter. That would be really interesting. You've made bacon Oreos before. Oh, well, <laughs> Bacon Oreos, I, you can't go wrong with that. You've used your food processor. Ah, oh, I see. Because the best you can get is bronze. <laughs> yeah. True. <laughs> the whole tanning thing. That's funny. Uh, best cooking channel. Thank you, Christina Fees. What's Pop... Pop Exy... Pop Exy candy? I think that's the Pop Rock candy. I think that's what the question was again. Uh, you went to China once and went to the Oreo store. Awesome. There were 213 flavors of Oreos. Wow, that's that's a lot. See, I, I haven't even seen that many, but I'm sure they have them. Um, deep fried Kool-Aid. or yeah, I have made deep fried Kool-Aid. I did. Uh, little like Kool-Aid balls, and I deep fried them. And it was pretty cool. A Warhead Oreo. <laughs> Mountain Dew Pop Rock. Just see, that would be interesting. I wouldn't even know, wouldn't even begin to know how to make Pop Rocks. How did you get the Safe Fam designation on your channel? Uh, was it a lot of trouble? It was not a lot of trouble, Tammy. And if you need, I'll get you in touch with how to do it. It's really simple. It was just simply certifying that I didn't have anything like bad on my channel as far as, um, uh, you know, it's all family friendly stuff and. I had to take off, like, I had to delist, like, two videos that I had alcohol in. That was it. So it was nothing, no trouble at all. Um, you know, and your channel would be very simple to do, I think. So and no problem. Uh, just, you know, you can get in touch with me anyway. DM me on Twitter or any way you want. Uh, email, whatever. I, I'll get you in touch with whatever you need. Um, don't know if it helps, but what the heck. It's worth a shot, right? <laughs> We know how YouTube is sometimes. Oh, by the way, you guys, uh, Yo Yo Max 12 in this comment, my last video was my um, Mountain Dew Twizzlers. I got the Twizzler recipe from Yo Yo Max 12, Tammy. Uh, that was the basic recipe, and I just made them into Mountain Dew Twizzlers. So tell everyone, tell uh, Tammy at Yo Yo Max 12, thank you for that, because I wouldn't have been able to figure it out on my own. <laughs> I still failed a couple times when I was making it. I guess I, I just overdid it with the Mountain Dew flavoring the one time and didn't do it enough. But yeah, no problem. 
Uh, it's toothpick. Hi. I'm just checking my timer on my oven real quick. Sour Mountain Dew candy. That's good. I have made Mountain Dew uh, gummy bears, but they weren't really sour. Warhead plus Mountain Dew. <laughs> Y'all are amazing. Y'all come up with some really fun stuff. What are you going to make next? Ah, I made another Fortnite related video for this Sunday. So you're not going to want to miss this one. It is another Fortnite video. It's not another boogie bomb. Um, but I figured I have a couple more ideas for uh, Fortnite. So I'm going to make a couple different recipes for that. And I made one already and uh, it's coming out for this Sunday. It was a really simple recipe to make and very easy. So that's a good thing. My last one, the boogie bomb cake, was a little complicated when you're working with fondant and, you know, a couple different uh, pieces of cake. Um, it was rather complicated, so I like to mix it up with an easy recipe as well so that people can see that too. Chug Jug, maybe. That is coming up though. Uh, not this Sunday though. Chug Jug will be in a future video. Hi, uh, Crazy2. Hi, you're late. Uh, don't worry, you're here. I am glad you're here. We are cooking a baked potato right now. It's in the first stage. It's cooking. We're going to pull it out in just a second. I'm going to get things ready because it's almost done. I'm going to actually pull it out right now because it's only a couple seconds left on the timer. And we have to use the M&M glove, right? <laughs> so here we go. I'll angle that down so you can see it. Bubble gum. So that's what these look like right now. They've been baked one time. Let me move this out of the way. So they've been baked one time and this is gonna be a twice baked recipe. So just gotta move some stuff out of the way. And it says by the recipe, it says when they're uh, cool, cool enough to handle, I'm gonna cut them in half, but because this is a live stream, I'm gonna to try to cut them in half even before they're cool enough to handle. So it's gonna be complicated, but we're gonna do it. And we're gonna do it carefully with an oven glove. So, so I'm gonna cut this in half with an oven glove so I don't touch it with my hands. And there we go. Nice and hot. That's the first baking done. Let me get to the comments so I can see that real quick. Uh, let's see. You did it, by the way. Uh, bubblegum cake pops. Oh, yes, I did. You're right. Bubblegum cake pops. Yep, I thought you meant bubblegum cake. Uh, almost forgot. Did you get my recipe on Twitter? Because... I haven't checked. I'll have to double check that. I think I did. I got a recipe on there. I glanced at it um, and then something came up. There's another uh, notification. So I switched to it. So I'll double check. I think I did though. Mountain Dew Donuts. I have. I've done Mountain Dew Donuts. Looks great. Thank you. I agree. Uh, looks like apples. They do. Oh, Joseph. Hey, James. How are you doing? I'm doing great, Joseph. I uh, hope you're doing well. Looks delicious. So, so far, what this says to do, let me uh, get a bowl. I am, I am so unprepared today. <laughs> so what it says to do is actually scoop out some of the inside of this. And, and that's gonna be hard to do, especially this big one. Little one might work better. So we're gonna scoop out some of the, the filling of this um, potato. Might need it to bake it longer, I think. The big one probably needed to bake longer. But we're gonna scoop some of this out. down. All right, 
right, so I'm turning my oven down to 375 at this point, because that's what it says to do in directions. It's actually rather difficult. I probably should have baked these a little longer, but we're going to make it work because it's live YouTube here. And that's what we do. See, around the edges it's soft and in the middle it's hard, so it's really hard to scoop these out. <laughs> the joys of not having uh, center doesn't look cooked enough. You're right, it isn't. Microwave them five minutes. Good call, Tammy. I'm going to do that with those because these are not cooked enough, I can tell you. Let me do that. It is not cooked enough, I can tell you that. <whistles> Gotta love live broadcast. <laughs> yeah, so that's the challenge with live broadcast. If something isn't cooked enough, um, you're really like just trying to make it happen. <laughs> uh, let's see, Mountain Dew eggs. Wow, that will really be stretching it. Um, let's see. Small green lines. Uh, let's see. What about you? Joshua Tube Gaming. Yes. They look a bit underdone. Yes, they are. So we're microwaving them right now for five minutes. Hopefully that'll be enough. We'll see. Um, it's an experiment. We're trying. Mountain Dew churros, that's a good one. The first video you saw was Mountain Dew ice cream. Yeah, that was a fun video to make. Uh, that was, I think, one of my first, that was my first Mountain Dew video, I believe. I think it was two years ago. That was the first Mountain Dew one I did. And it was a fun video to make. Uh, very simple, easy. Yeah, so we're microwaving them. Uh, we're getting that done. Should make fried ice cream with bacon I have made fried ice cream but not with bacon but that sounds good <laughs> use chef Mike for five minutes which chef Mike I don't know what that is <laughs> um, let's see Mountain Dew pizza another suggestion Mountain Dew pizza is that same one from earlier <laughs> cinnamon raisin bread mm. sorry about the X uh, I was going to second oven glove, and they are obviously gloves, yes. Um, Taco Bell Dorito Tacos. Mm. Uh, you know what sounds good? Sour Apple Mountain Dew Caramels. See, that's good. Oh, Social Blade. Hi, how's it going? Jason or Michelle? I don't know which one it is, but hello, welcome. Hope y'all are doing well. We're making twice baked potatoes. Uh, the first time they didn't quite come out all the way, so we're actually microwaving them. They didn't cook all the way at first, so we're microwaving them right now because it's a live stream. We're trying to get this stuff done. Uh, that way we don't have a live stream going on for like three hours. <laughs> so uh, that's the challenge with live streams. But we're gonna get it done. We'll get it done, and um, move that to the side because I can cook those later. Uh, your real name is Cameron. No problem. Well, hi, Cameron. It's both of you. Well, hi, both of you, Jason and Michelle. Uh, yeah, so Social Blade, if you don't know what Social Blade is, I think you should know what Social Blade is if you know anything about YouTube. You can go check your stats not only on YouTube, but uh, Twitter, Twitch, all sorts of uh, different things, and you can check your stats on Social Blade for that. So you probably already heard of it. But that's Social Blade, Michelle and Jason, they run it, and um, good people, by the way. I've met them, well, I've met Jason quite a few times, but Michelle I met last year at VidCon, and they have a channel as well. It's called uh, the uh, Twins, um, Our Twin Life, Our Twin Life. 
Uh, they have twin boys, and um, it's pretty cool. Do I have a trip planned for somewhere? Yes, I do. I'm going to VidCon again next month. So I'll be in VidCon next month. That's my next trip. Two weeks ago, I was in Orlando, Florida for Playlist Live. But I'm excited about VidCon again because I get to see lots of people who I see usually only once a year. Are you going to be there, Tammy? I hope so. That'll be awesome. Uh, you weren't there last year, were you? Our Twins Life family. That's that's what Social Blade, uh, Michelle and Ergo, Jason Ergo, and the boys. Um, the next time I see them, I'm going to have to see if I can guess them right again. They have twin boys. Um, the first time I met them, I got to guess which one was which. So we'll see We'll see if I have if my luck has changed. We'll, we'll see. It was a 50-50 shot. It worked. But uh, we'll see if it works again. <laughs> yeah, that'll be funny. But, yeah, so I'm excited about VidCon, as always. Uh, it's just a fun trip. I get to see people, friends of mine. Um, and sometimes I get to meet people who watch this show. So if you're going to be out at VidCon, obviously if you see me, say hi, because I love it. I love it when people spot me and get to say hi and take pictures and all that. It's fun. Well, there's my potatoes. Yeah, I think that's better. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yep. Cool. So we're going to get to our potatoes again. No, can't go this year. Darn. Sorry, Tammy. Wish you could have made it. Uh, maybe next year. But uh, we're back to the potatoes right now. We've cooked them. I cooked them in 25 minutes in the oven, but we did another five minutes in the microwave. We're going to be working with just these two right here. And we're going to scoop out the center. Like I said, I should let them cool down a little bit, but, you know, it's live TV. Live, not live TV, but live YouTube. <laughs> and I'm just going to scoop them into a bowl. Not the whole thing, but just, just a center amount. And this recipe, again, came down from Joshua Tube Gaming. He sent me this recipe earlier today, and I said, perfect, we can make this in a live stream. So we're going to do that. So I'm going to scoop out this one as well. And then this can be my dinner, which is the best part. Of course, I already had some uh, cherry cola Oreo cookies as part of my dinner. <laughs> so kids, if you're watching, don't uh, eat oreo cookies as your dinner but you know i'm setting a bad example there <laughs> all right so i'm just gonna put this aside just to move this out of the way at the moment all right so let's get back to this now the recipe that he sent down calls for some cheese and this is some fontina cheese i'm gonna put some of that in there and I'm not putting exact quantities in there. It's just, you know, my own judgment. But it also calls for some sour cream. Put a little sour cream in here, too. I'll put a little more than a little because I like sour cream. And we're going to mix this up. Mash those potatoes. And of course, my phone rings, right? Because why not? I'm only trying to make a YouTube video, <laughs> a live video. This might help better with a fork. So we're mashing these up really good, making them little mashed potatoes. Let me get a fork and a plug. change over to a fork just because all right so what's going on Mountain Dew milk <laughs> yeah I use a fork yep 
definitely got to use a fork. I may have put too much sour cream in there, but oh well. We'll make it happen. It's live. All right, I think that's good. Now we'll come back to our, move this out of the way. I need more counter space is what I need. <laughs> come back to that. That in there. All right. So now I'll use, it doesn't matter, a fork, spoon, whatever, use both. Scoop some out, put it right back in the filling. And we'll pile it high. Good enough. Now we're going to take this and put it back in the oven. I'm not worried about these right now because they're just going to cook all the way. All right, so that's done. Let's go back up to me. <laughs> all right. So we're back. All right, so that's done. Uh, let me read the comments. Green ham and eggs, but flavored Mountain Dew. See, I have, I've made, what did I make? Yeah, I made green deviled eggs before one time, but that was years ago. I made it for like St. Patrick's Day. But no, it wasn't flavored Mountain Dew though. Uh, Daisy, yes, you got the whole da -da -da Daisy rhyme down. Someone's been watching commercials. Uh, when I mixed it, I used a fork. Yes, the fork worked much better, Josh. Joshua. Yep. Mountain Dew rice. That would be interesting. Chef Mike is the microwave. Oh, I got you. <laughs> Anyone play Critical Ops? I do not, but I'm sure some people on here do. Try a pinch of ground black pepper and then mix it. Mm. Oh, yeah, for flavor. That might work. Spoon plus fork, spork. Yes, we all love sporks. Don't forget the bacon and chives. Yes, of course. So here's the bacon. Bacon, I'll crumble this up at the end. We got to do that. Chives, we're going to skip. <laughs> One main reason, because I forgot to get them. But that's okay. The bacon is the most important part of this recipe by far. <laughs> at least I think so. But yeah, bacon, definitely the most important part of the recipe. So we're cooking those, we're gonna watch them. I should just sprinkle some cheese. Well, we can sprinkle some cheese on the end too. Hi, Luis. Is it Luis or Louis? I'm not really sure. I don't know how, I'm horrible at spelling. So I am gonna take me a sip of my drink cause I'm thirsty. You're back. You just made yourself some soy veggies. <laughs> awesome. Well, I hope they're good. The bacon. Bacon is important. You're right. It is. Ah, Lightning FNC. Hi, how are you? Absolutely. Hope you're doing a good this Thursday. We are baking um, a twice-baked potato, and we've gotten through the first stage of baking them. We didn't cook them enough, so we put them in the microwave just to cook them more. Uh, we pulled out the center of them. We mixed it with some sour cream and some cheese. Um, so we are going to have that bake right now until all that is nicely baked. And we'll pull it out and we'll top it with some bacon, some more sour cream, maybe some more cheese too. Why not? Also, anyone that wants a good time to make these, they're very good for parties and gatherings. Yeah, so, and again, I got this recipe from Joshua Tube Gaming, who you can see in the chat right there. 
Uh, he was nice enough to send me this recipe, so we're making it right now. And uh, you know, he says it's a very good recipe to make for parties and gatherings and stuff. So yeah, so it was really cool of him to send that recipe to me, and I appreciate that. Your soy veggies were tasty, awesome. And uh, lightning says you're very good. Aw, cool. Uh, am I going to watch the NBA draft lot lot lottery? No, I am not. And I typically don't watch those drafts, even football, which I like football. Um, I don't watch the drafts. I don't. I don't care that much about them, to be honest with you, because very few people who are drafted probably. 10 people out of the whole draft make something and become somebody and that's it so you're wasting days for basically 10 people and you know in the long run it doesn't make sense um are you gonna uh see don't get fooled by the name gaming patrol okay uh you have three vids three videos cool Ah, Nicholas, you're back. Hi, welcome back. So we have our, our baked potatoes are in the oven now. They're baking, and we got them back in there. We're going to pull them out when they're done, and I believe they're going to look awesome. One last thing, your birthday is June 9th, so my mom is going to make them for my party. Awesome. That sounds amazing. So Joshua, is his mom's going to make him the twice-baked potatoes for his party, and I can't wait till they come out and I try them. Um, they look amazing, so I, I think they're going to work out good this time. Mountain Dew is awesome. Your phone is finally fixed so I can watch this at school. <laughs> oh, concentrate on school. Don't watch this at school unless you have free time, like recess or lunch or something. <laughs> remember you? I do remember you. Mountain Dew is awesome. How can I forget that name? <laughs> is my profile pitch, picture funny? Yep. I can barely see it on the chat, but I can see it. Happy early birthday. So someone else, Gaming Patrol, says happy early birthday to Joshua. Awesome. Uh, you're not a sports fan? Mm, cool. Yep. Yeah. What's up? Sorry I'm so late. Don't worry, Nathan. I'm glad you're here. So we've made some twice-baked potatoes. We baked them the first time. We didn't quite bake them long enough, so I put them in the microwave to bake them the rest of the way. And then we pulled out some of the center. We mixed it with some sour cream and some Fontana cheese and so we mix them all together we're put that back in the center now we're baking them again that's the twice baked part so when they come out we'll pull them out and see how good they look uh where can i send a recipe can you do it for your next live maybe um if it's something simple easy that i can make in a live that will be good uh you can send it you can follow me at any of my social media at fun foods yt and it, whether it's Twitter, Instagram, um, I've had people send recipes on Twitter. I've had them send them on Instagram. It, it's all fun. Uh, you can email them to me if you'd like, too. If you just go into my YouTube and to the email where it says business inquiries, you can do that as well. It's Keemstar Screaming. <laughs> oh, is that what that is? Uh, let's see. So, oh, yeah. So is that Cameron? My birthday is July 22nd. Awesome, Cameron. I think you said your name was Cameron, if I remember correctly. Dylan, uh, Mountain Dew Chicken. Mountain Dew Chicken, like marinating in chicken. <laughs> Nathan is such a cool, common name. Awesome. Uh, let's see. About the Fortnite thing, are you going to make a scar, a gold scar? Hmm, no, I'm not, but it is going to be some other Fortnite-related uh, thing for this Sunday. Mountain Dew Oreos, you should, <laughs> yes, uh, a couple people have mentioned that, that's pretty cool. Uh, Mountain Dew Oreos, uh, where can I send a recipe, can you do it for a video or live? Uh, if it's a live, I could probably do it if it's something simple, like I said, I try to keep these lives under an hour, and stuff that requires a lot of time baking, it's hard to keep it under an hour. So we, um, you know, if it's something I can do quick, yeah, that's great. Um, you seen Avengers Infinity Wars yet? I have not, and I rarely go to the movies to see things. It's rare. Do I play Fortnite? I've never played Fortnite. <laughs> I have never played Fortnite. I've never, I don't really play many games. I'm old. <laughs> Tilted Towers. See, some, my nephew told me I should make Tilted Towers. That's what he told me I should make. So that's a good suggestion, Gaming Patrol. 
Um, I'm not making it for this Sunday, but who knows for the future? Maybe. Do you play Mobile Granny? I do not. Get this. I'm turning 16. I'm not ready for this age. Oh, 16's a good age. Uh, I'm not ready to turn my age. Trust me. Uh, 16 is good. <laughs> You'll enjoy life. 16 is, is that perfect age, I think, for you. You turn 16. Uh, if you, Most states are allowed to drive at 16, so that's pretty cool. You're still young, but you're you know, able to have some of your own freedoms with driving and stuff, depending on where you live. Have you seen Ferris Bueller's Day Off? I have. Um, I am an 80s kid, so yes, absolutely seen Ferris Bueller's Day Off. I love it. When is my birthday? My birthday is in October. It's October 9th. Burst assault rifle. <laughs> That's another thing people have requested I make on Fortnite. But I was worried about the rifle thing with YouTube and their guidelines with um, uh, like monetization because they get very picky sometimes with like guns and stuff, even if it's fake guns. I made an Instagram edit of Mountain Dew. Oh, really? Uh, your dad is older yet. Uh, he knows memes. <laughs> That's cool. Tilted Towers, it's a town in Fortnite. I know people have asked me to do the Tilted Towers thing, and I'll, I'll look into it. I'm sure I'll probably do it. What was my first recipe? The first recipe on YouTube, I think, was... I want to say it was the... Um, I think it was a Kit Kat ice cream cake. I think so. I'm not sure. Uh, shield position, slurp position, mini shield position. No. Uh, oh, it was my first recipe as a kid. Ooh, uh, well, I've made like cupcakes and stuff with my mom, cookies, stuff like that. I really didn't pay that much attention to like baking and cooking that much. I did it when I was a kid and I enjoyed it, but it was a different time. And you know, when I was growing up, it was like, you know, boys didn't bake and cook. They... You know, it was only girls that did that. And even though I enjoyed doing it, you just you just didn't do that back then. So it was different. Now it's totally acceptable to bake and cook. It doesn't matter. I'm just going to look at my recipe in there. Okay, it's all good. Uh, you're going to be 14 in July. Awesome. Well, happy happy early birthday. It seems like a couple of people are going to turn have birthdays in July. That's cool. Oh, Goonies. Anna says Goonies. Yeah, Goonies, definitely saw Goonies. That was a big movie in the 80s. Happy early birthday, James. Thank you. That's really early because mine isn't until uh, October. What's the longest your hair has ever been? That's, um, see, it's funny because I have weird hair. It's very thick, and it's not like it grows long, like down like that. So it grows like like out like this, um, and it, it's very thick and not like you would think uh i had it like down to like not quite to my shoulders once like in seventh grade or eighth grade yeah it wasn't me <laughs> did you like the black panther movie or have you seen it i haven't seen it yet again i don't go to the movies very often so a lot of times i wait until movies come out and then i watch it you remind me of robert shaw you're in your 40s and yet have gray hair. Yes, I've had gray hair, believe it or not, since I was 13. Not as much, of course, only a little bit. But I had uh, just a couple little gray hairs when I was like 13, 14 years old. I've had it pretty much all my life, so I'm used to it. Yeah, no spoilers. <laughs> Play Fortnite and upload it to YouTube. You'll get millions of subs. You know, it's funny. Uh, good thing you mentioned that is I started, I created my own Twitch channel. So I have my own Twitch channel. It's Fun Foods. Um, I have nothing on it right now because they are going to allow like previously recorded stuff to go up. So I'm thinking about stuff that I can do on Twitch. And I don't know if I just want to upload the videos I had on YouTube over onto Twitch or if I want to make special content. Maybe I will play a video game or something on Twitch. I don't know. Might have some fun with that. So let me know if uh, I should do anything on Twitch. And if you have Twitch, go follow me at Fun Foods over there. Find me. <laughs> I don't know how it works yet because I just started it like last week. I just opened the account. Uh, your birthday is Sunday, May 20th. J jo or, <laughs> Joseph, sorry. Um, 
that's nothing compared to Christopher Lloyd, uh, first white hair at 40 something. James, what are you going to do for a hundred thousand subs? I don't know. I'm, I'm gonna look for suggestions for you guys because it's coming up. I'm about four or five thousand away from it. Um, I want it to get to a hundred thousand before VidCon next month, but it doesn't look like that's going to happen. I would need something to really propel me to get to that point if that's the case. I'm just gonna look at let me look at my okay, it's getting there. Um, yeah, so I really want to do something fun. Tell me if anyone plays Critical Ops. Your name is that. So if you play Critical Ops, go play it with that person. <laughs> I'm the one savage who just disliked. Oh, oh well. Uh, what? What's it? Why did the roller coaster went over a roller coaster? Hmm. You should make Mountain Dew French fries. I am gonna make something similar to that though. You just liked it again. Awesome. <laughs> ninja monster do a house tour please i will i promise i will but just not right now my house is a mess you don't know like it's it's an absolute mess <sighs> you're a vegetarian cool nicholas is a vegetarian awesome thanks for coming to watch my stuff even though a lot of the stuff i eat isn't vegetarian although today it is well other than the bacon bacon that i'm going to be putting on there uh, when did you first hear of Fortnite? Ooh, probably about a month ago. You know, one thing I am pretty in touch with the online community because I have Twitter and Instagram and Snapchat. And, uh, so, you know, being a YouTuber, I kind of, you know, know what's going on on the internet for the most part. Uh, can you say Sofa and King at once? Sofa and King at once. 100,000K cake. That's cool. 3D Pac-Man cake. See, I like 3D Pac-Man. That makes sense. Make Mountain Dew milkshake. I have. Actually, I have. Yes, I've made Mountain Dew milkshake before. Do a large multicolor cake for your 100K mark. See, that's a good suggestion. Because it was a chicken. Ah, the rest of your joke. <laughs> cool. Uh, yeah, so the house tour, I definitely have to do that sometime. Um, we'll do a house tour at some point in time. Uh, but certainly not right now, because if you only seen just how bad and and messy my house is, I have like lights up here, and I have like just junk that I don't want back there or over there, so you don't see it. <laughs> uh, do your friends play Fortnite? Uh, yeah, well, like my nephews and stuff do. I know that. Well, two of them do. Um, So yeah, it's um yeah, so go you know and uh, let's see your MLG because you drink Mountain Dew. <laughs> I'm going to say something and you have to read it, James. All right, maybe <laughs> we'll see. Let me look at this stuff again. Ah, oh, cool, it's coming along. I should just put my face on on a cake and your hundred thousand subscribers that you would be pretty cool that'd be pretty cool if I could like somehow make the names of every one of my subscribers like the channel names on a cake that would take forever though I wish I could that would be awesome you know to because that's like the epitome because it's not really my cake it's really all of your cake you know everyone who subscribed to my channel that would be so cool if I could do something like that to make this giant cake and it has a hundred thousand different channel names on there of people who subscribe to my channel but then i'd have to i'd have to end up doing it when i get a million and then that's a million subscribers i have to do and that's just like mm, too much <laughs> don't you like lego sets i do like lego in fact some of my earlier videos and i think they're on here well we didn't use legos but we did stop motion videos me and my nephews and, uh, you know, a lot of people did stop motion Lego videos, but, um, so yeah, I like Legos. Um, how about a sneak peek in the kitchen? Looks neat. It does not look neat. Trust me. <laughs> you want to see where all the mess is in my kitchen right now? And I'll show you the big mess because I just kind of get it off camera 
see like right here you can look right here it's not too messy all clean but look at this I'll turn this this way that's where all the mess is right over here right off camera so that is a sneak peek of my kitchen <laughs> so I always put stuff just off camera that's tricks tricks of the trade uh, let's see I'm going to say something and you have to read it James hint I did it before okay maybe um, and put YouTube on the cake and then put this is subscribers and subscribers you on the side everything fine you fit on the cake yeah that would be pretty cool or maybe I could just like you know as it gets closer to the hundred K and just tell everyone say hey everyone from my last let's say my last 1,000 subscribers whoever puts a comment in there will get a cake you know get their name on my 100k cake like when it gets that close I don't know something like that I'll figure something out I want to get as many people's names on the cake as possible I think that'd be cool you did again James lol ha 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 so your kitchen does look normal yes it does yeah and i'm not even going to show you what's on the other side of this camera my living room is there and it's just a total mess it's yeah i can't even begin <laughs> uh so you're good here how about you do a live q a well you can ask any question you want so we're live so ask away that's why the good thing about these Q, these Tuesday night um, live streams, not only am I making a recipe, but really it's an opportunity for me to talk to you guys. You can make suggestions. You can Q&A. You can have a question, and I will happily answer any question I can. Let me see. Okay, so this is getting close to be pulling out, but you can ask questions. Uh, what's your opinion on Rick Moran is... Uh, is a real 80s or 90s guy oh I don't know uh, yeah I would say yeah I guess 80s and 90s you're gonna do a video after this video awesome cool so I'll, maybe I'll be able to check it out I'll see when you're born and where uh, when I was born 1975 <laughs> where in Maryland did you see the wizard <laughs> the Wizard of Oz um, let's see, James, you were ignoring me. My last two comments, can you apply for Master Chef? Oh, I didn't see that, sorry. Uh, but I could apply for it, I guess. I just haven't, because mostly what I do is not really chef stuff. It's, it's mostly for desserts. That's what I like. Um, I really enjoy desserts. Of course, I make other food too but mostly desserts and just fun stuff um, let's see for the 100k you should make multiple food in one video that's a good suggestion Dylan let's see 5,000 more subs I know it's so close all right let's pull this out of the oven okay let me angle that down a little it's pretty close to being done. Um, <laughs> so here's what it looks like. And this one browned up nicely here. I would have liked this to brown up more. Could have put it a little higher temperature or whatever. But this one's pretty nice. I think that one turned out well. So let's plate that thing up. And uh, we're going to give it a second to cool down, of course. And like I said, I, I could have kept the temperature a little higher and it would have browned up around there. Being more brown would have been better, but eh, it works. It's good for a live stream. Um, let's see. Let me put them on a plate. And uh, let's see. I'll, I'll put this one on a plate. Ooh, it's hot. So I'm going to do one at a time. I'm going to move this back out of the way. So we're also, here's what I'm going to do. I know it doesn't call for it, but I'm going to do it anyway because I like cheese. I'm going to put a little more cheese on here, right, because, you know, it's cheese. So 
So did that. So now the best part is the bacon. So I'm gonna crumble up some bacon. I'll crumble it in a little bits here because you know, it's bacon. You never have too much bacon. Look at that. Mm. And I should put a little dollop of Daisy sour cream on here. Even more, even though, and I should put bacon on top of that. Yeah, crumble up some more bacon for on top of that. Look at that. Mm. Now that is a twice baked baked potato. There we go. Now let's get some pictures of that thing before I eat it. Yeah, we gotta get some pictures. That is the most important part of it. So let's see. Let me go into my comment section so I can see. Yes, bacon. Yes, I'm definitely gonna take a picture because we need it for both Instagram and we need it for a thumbnail. I'm gonna turn these. I'm gonna turn this this way. Got to get the lighting right. You know what? I should just probably have a piece of bacon sitting. Why not? It's on my timer. And it's very hot today too, so that's... It's always nice. We'll do it without the bacon. Got, got to get some pictures. You know what, I'm gonna take a picture of it without the plate because the the glare of the light is kind of messing up the pictures. And of course, follow me on Instagram so you can see some of these pictures. So we get a couple more pictures of my phone. Maybe one that way. There we go, that should be good. Done with the pictures. <laughs> All right, so now, that one looks really good. So we'll do another one that I'm going to actually eat because that one looks too good to eat right now. So this one, let's say add some cheese to it, of course. Gotta add the cheese. We'll put the bacon on after I put the sour cream. And then we'll crumble up the bacon. Look at that. Mm. This looks good. Cannot wait to eat it. Cannot wait. You think one pitcher's enough, huh? Yeah, that's the thing. Uh, you'll be surprised how many times I have to take a picture and then retake it. Let me put this back in the refrigerator to get that out of the way. All right, so, oh, I need a fork to bite into this. All right, so, what phone is that? Uh, that is the iPhone 6S on the Q&A. All right, so we'll dig into this. So I'm gonna dig in this, I'm gonna get a little bit of all the, the inside, the twice baked ones and the, mm, try to get a little bit of everything in there. Ooh, that's a lot. <laughs> okay, so that is a lot, but we're gonna see if we can eat all that, why not? Here, I'll bring this up so you can watch me try to stuff all this in my mouth at once. 
you know that's not really going it's hot I can tell steam is coming off of it can't wait to try this mm. good good choice Joshua so thanks again to Joshua for recommending this recipe and if you haven't checked out him Okay, so again, check out Joshua, but also check out his Twitter. Um, it's gamer underscore XYZ5. Is that a period at the end of it, or is that just the period of in this sentence? But yeah, go check him out. Uh, he was nice enough to send me this recipe, so thank you so much for that. Really cool. How old am I, James? I am 42 years old. <laughs> needs more potato friends <laughs> I'm just going back and reading the comments um, let's see scoops of sour cream on the side yeah that's always good what was my favorite Nintendo game oh I loved the duck hunt you know it was just being able to shoot the ducks it was really cool um so you're going to change your picture to a little circle thing? Cool. Do a Mountain Dew dipping sauce for stuff? That's a good suggestion. Um, I'm just going through these comments real quick. Um, let's see. Uh, game you troll mine is ZTE. Nice background. Cool. I'm hungry. Uh, do you believe in the five second rule? Depends on what it is. Uh, do you believe in yeah mirror gal mirror cake galaxy hunt? Uh, me, you love duck hunt. I know it was a really fun game. Okay, guys. Well, I'm gonna wrap this up. But thanks again to Joshua Tube Gaming for sending me this recipe. That way we can do this live stream. And I went a little over an hour, but um, it, it was a little bit of a long recipe. But we did it. Thank you guys for showing up, asking questions, and making this a good live stream. It's because of you guys that I am where I am right now. And almost 5,000 away from 100,000, so that's really cool. Can't wait to get there and share this uh, whole experience with you guys when I get to the 100,000 because it's not about me, it's about you guys. And you guys have made it. It's 95,000 of you guys who want to watch my recipes, and it blows me away every day that I think about that. So... I hope you guys have a great rest of the week, a great night, and uh, thanks Tammy for coming on and watching, and uh, goodbye everyone. I hope you just have a good evening.